And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for round three of the seasonal tournament. We are currently one and one with both rounds being incredibly close. The first one we ended up winning, second one we ended up losing. And so now we're about to start round number three. So it's a nine round event. To make sure to get qualified for next week, we have to go eight and one. So we're gonna have to win all the rest of the games. Okay, much, much better pairings for us. See, I wish we could have just had one of these decks in <laughs> in with that last one. That would have been nice. Um, so I'm going to ban Draven Ezreal. Um, I, I don't mind facing Dra Draven Ezreal. I like my Draven Ezreal matchup for sure with like these two decks. And I think I'm a, like 55% with this one versus Draven Ezreal. But I prefer the aggro matches over the Draven Ezreal, so... Uh, we'll be banning Draven Ezreal. We'll go ahead and write down both of these aggro matchups. I like facing both of these. I will be very sad if I lose this. You know, just because I like the matchups and I think that I'm very favored doesn't mean you win 100% of the time, right? So, like, that's something to always keep in mind. So, it's, it is possible that we lose, but I will be pretty sad if we do. These are the exact kind of decks that I have built my lineup to, to want to face. And if for some reason this is your first one that you're watching a video of me and you didn't watch the videos of me before, um, I like to write them down and, um, and I basically just write the second word. Sorry about that. I just write the second word each time. Demolitionist. That's a hard one to spell. Um, yeah, so I don't write like Legion Grenadier. I'll just write Grenadier. I, I know what card that is. And I split it up into two different columns. So two Azir, two Darius. First time playing against Merciless Hunter. Nobody had registered Merciless Hunter in my previous opponents. All right, pretty standard deck list right there. Let's see what we got for some spiders. Yep, so it's going to be spiders. Not Some people play this Elise deck, but then play um, Legion Rear Guard? No, not Legion Rear Guards. Um, there's a three mana card. What's the name of that card? Some people play that, like the Noxus. Um, whatever it's called. Scary Harry, always enjoy your content. Good luck for the rest of the way with the tourney. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Thank you for that support. One mark of the aisle. Three pet, three onlooker. Legion Marauder. Yeah, that card. One Mark of the Isle, one Brother's Bond. So basically the only like interaction spells for the most part that my opponent's playing in both decks is Fervor Decimate. You know, like you know, like those are Three Fervor, three Decimate. This one has one Mark of the Isle, one Brother's Bond to kind of keep me honest a little bit. The other one just has Ruinous Path. And then we got, um, let's see. Doom Beast. I wrote down, oh, I didn't write down House Spider. I'm going to write down House. And then Doom Beast Skitter. Keep them off, see what they got. Yeah. 
Okay, so round three about to start. We got two aggro decks, exactly what I want. I got a bunch of avalanches and ice shard in this one. We got withering whales, the bonks in this one. This one has thermo death ray early stuff. We have star shaping, star shaping, and then I guess just withering whales to heal our nexus. And that one put a couple of doom beasts to, to help heal the nexus also in that third deck. Yeah, deck code, um, if you head over to the mobile eggs page right there, it has the deck, the link to the deck list, and you can copy the code from there. Avalanche! Unfortunately, with it being open deck list, see, I really, okay, I honestly don't like open deck list at all. I think, I don't think that they need to be open. I think open deck list just punishes people for innovating, and so I really don't like it one bit. You know, you just it rewards you for just bringing stock lists that everybody knows what the deck list is going to look like anyway. So I don't like it. But with that being said, you know, so like now my opponent knows about all the avalanches and that kind of stuff. You know, maybe they wouldn't really know what like Trundle Brom was supposed to happen. I have my orders. Clear that up. No one's the wiser. Not too surprised by another one drop. <clears throat> That's a good card. Everything's in place behind you. Everything's in place behind you. Is it the boosters? Who knows? See, they're holding on to fervors. Yep. I would like to stop that. Save three life. But cost myself one life. <clears throat> but also get a 3-3. Three, three. They got exactly what they need. Like that, they need direct nexus damage to kill me, right? Like attacking isn't going to do it too much. So things with a, bu a bunch of direct nexus damage is exactly what they need, and that's what's looking like. They got a good amount of that stuff. Um, that's quite annoying. That's quite annoying. I walked into that. Should have led. Yeah, I walked into that. Alright, so I'm down to six. Just one card left. Nine mana. 
If I want to keep star shaping available, that means I have four other mana. Unlike guiding my brethren. Like the only cards that can help him right now. They're not getting through, not going to really get through on the ground. Good. That's what I want to see. More units. It's always cold in the You're in no, there's no Captain Farron in their lineup. Basically, this fervor decimate is the top end. And so now that I drew this other star shaping, I, know what in I can't really see anything particularly going wrong from here. I've already used two fervors. I, yeah, I just don't. Don't think they can win this. This is fun, yes. This is gonna be fun. All right, so there's fervor number three. They do have um, Stalking Shadows, they can hit Doom Beast, or they have like Imperial Demolitionist, Stalking Shadows, Doom Beast, that kind of stuff. That's their that's their like best case scenario right now is Stalking Shadows, Doom Beast. Anything else. And even that, they're they're done for. Okay. <clears throat> So now Zillion Nasus has to just beat one of these two aggro decks. And it has three Withering Whales and two the box <laughs> and three Vile Feast. And of course the time bombs. It does start off a little slow. But hopefully it can beat one of these two aggro decks. It's why I'm playing Zillion Nasus, because I, th I think it can handle aggro. Not a good opener. Not a good opener, though. Chronomancer will hopefully find us something good. Oh god, that's a good card. Black Spirit does a better job killing this Elise, but I kind of want to take the Zillion and get the Time Bomb thing going. Yeah. I don't want That's to play. Whatever woke you up. We could use a bite. Don't touch it. You dare. Sand Spinner would not have been bad to take either. They 
I can see them passing, I guess. No, not passing. You won't suffer long. Perfect card's pretty good. Prediction is correct. Much to look forward to. All right, down to fourteen. Want the spider as a blocker. All right, so a rear guard and a doom beast. Yeah, I don't know if I should have taken that sand spinner. <laughs> four for four. So whatever they choose, they're going to like their option. Pretty good withering whale. It's not a bad one. All right, so NASA's looking pretty big. Pretty big and scary. I think we'll go ahead and play that. And there we go. That'll do. So that's these are the matchups we want to face, as you can tell. We want to face the aggro decks. Not too difficult of a, of a win there. Wasn't nearly as stressful as the first two matches. Both <laughs> both the first two matches went three games, and it was very stressful. That one, not so much. All right, so that'll be victory number two. We are now currently two and one. And we got a lot of time for our next match. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the decks that I'm playing. Um, if you played the tournament yourself, if you're watching this later on, let me know how you did, you know, or anything else like that. Always love to see those comments. But thank you so much for watching some seasonal tournament action, and I'll see you for the next video.